Louisville things changed. See Reggie Bon, a fan, was already wearing number seven, so Lamar was forced to pick a new number at first. He didn't know what to do, but after talking to his mom, they decided on the number eight to represent the tragedy that Lamar was faced with, that eight years old, keeping his dad and grandma with him at all times, and that didn't change when Lamar was drafted to the NFL repping the number eight. That's why he turned into a superstar so quickly because it's more than just him out there. He's got his family with him. Dem, that was a that was a tough story to get through. So we need to lighten the mood a little bit. Paul Wright, this next guy, he didn't get his number from a tragedy. He had to spin racks to get the number he wanted. Daryl Rivas has one of the most expensive jersey numbers ever. Back in 2007, when he was drafted to the Jets, he became one of the league's most feared cornerbacks, and he did all this while wearing the number 24. See, he repped 24 for Kobe Bryant and wanted to come out each game with the Mamba mentality, but when he was traded to the Buccaneers in 2013, there was a big problem. Mark Barron already had the number 24, and he wasn't planning on changing it. But Daryl, he wasn't gonna take no for an answer, so the two went into fierce negotiations for the next few days, and Mark told Daryl that if he wanted 24, he'd have to pay him six digits, damn six figures, for a jersey. Oh hell nah, this dude's tripping, yeah, Daryl wasn't having it, so they went back and forth for a few more days, and the two finally agreed on a price, 50 zero, 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 for a jersey number, Jesus Christ, in 2013, this dude could have bought 250 Bitcoin for that. I hope that jersey was worth it. He could add an extra 10 milli. But that's not all he could have had. He could have had hundreds of millions of dollars if he dropped a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. We got the power to make you rich. So what are you doing? Subscribe. But anyways, they... Jersey represents everything Daryl believed in, and that's why he's dead set on wearing it on every NFL team. He joins some people like Daryl, you know they're just inspired by other athletes, but Russell Wilson, he had his jersey number chosen by God himself. Growing up, Russell's father Harrison was his everything. He influenced Russell to become a spiritual and religious person, and together they would pray and go to church every week. But Harrison also wanted to see Russell do huge things, like you know make the MLB or the NFL, so they decided they'd do whatever it takes to make it happen. Now Russell didn't enjoy baseball as much as he enjoyed D to the hospital as fast as they could, but when they got there, doctors told them Harrison needed rest to have the best chance of recovering that meant Russell couldn't visit his dad so Russell and his family did the only thing they could do pray when all of the sudden Russell felt something in the air telling him to go into his dad's room against the doctor's orders and he remembers this moment perfectly saying I walked in I could see the ecchi monitor and I said hey dad I'm here I knew my dad could hear everything he was waiting for something great to happen and I was telling him about how I got drafted and as soon as I said that the line went flat. That's how I knew the Lord is real. That's how. 